Who are your top picks, Cha? For me, the MVP would be, um, for the local player, mm -hmm. it's actually going to be Eliza Valdez for me. I'm Denise Dinsai, and welcome to The Score, where we tackle the hottest and trending topics in sports. The Premier Volleyball League Season 3 Reinforced Conference has seen plenty of great performances from imports and local players. And before the PVL hands out their season awards, our guests will name their choices for MVP, Best Import, and Breakthrough Player of the Conference. Joining me today to discuss the PBL are Chara Soriano and Sinjan Reyes. At the chat, welcome, Sinj. Thank you so much for being here. It, um, it's an honor to be with the great Chara Soriano. Chara Soriano, of course. Mangohula, ng lahat wow, na mangohula. Thank you, guys. You make me feel so special. <laughs> now, you know, the Reinforced Conference really highlights the imports of all the teams. But for you, Sinj, I mean, which import just shown the brightest this conference? I think there's no question it's Wilma Salas who has been at the pinnacle of her performance for the team. Um, we were all surprised when she arrived the day after Naglaru na agad. Ang ganda ka agad ng performance at sinabi agad na 40% pa lang yun. And we're seeing the full extension of Wilma Salas and what she could do and what she's capable of doing throughout the season. And what's exciting is to see more of that, especially in this final series. I really agree. I mean, she's so formidable, not only in offense but in defense. Mm -hmm. And that I think has a lot to do with her leadership skills. She's also very vocal in the court, and I think that helps a lot in terms of making sure that communication-wise, Petrogas is always in sync. So for me, I believe she's really, for me, the best import as well. And we can see that she had 212 total points lang so naman. far. <laughs> Parang siya lang naman yun. Uh -huh. 10 blocks, 188 spikes, and let's see, you did say her defense. She has 2.38 digs per frame. Mm -hmm. So she's... She's really someone that all teams had to look out for and Petrogas was winning against this conference because of Wilma Salas. I think when you look at Wilma Salas, it's all about an overall performance that you're really expecting. They got her because, not just because of offense, but it was really the defense that's a big factor for Petrogas. And we're seeing it because that's the combo of Salas and Johnson. It's really the defense first before they transition to an offense. And that's what's nice about these two imports, that they're not just off offense-minded. You see the D also working for them. Yes, I agree. And a lot of the things that Sinjin also mentioned, I wanted to add that they're also offensive in the back row. And that's very important because it breaks the defense pattern of their opponent. So having Wilma Salas in the back row when Johnson is in front and having Johnson in the back row when Wilma Salas in, is in front, I think uh, Cheng would have a lot of options when it comes to actually setting the ball and finding attackers. Yung joke ni Cheng, di ba? Magkakape na lang nga. Magkakape niya yung bola. So they make it easier, of course, for the setter. But now let's talk about the MVP for our Reinforced Conference. Who are your top picks, Cha? For me, the MVP would be, um, for the local player, mm -hmm. it's actually going to be Eliza Valdez for me. I mean, everybody has seen also how much she has been delivering for Cream Line, not only in terms of points. She is the number two in terms of points, but she also helped in terms of services and other um, scoring and non-scoring skills as well. And Eliza Valdez is also a leader and yeah. a vocal, vocal player for Cream Line. That's why for me, she is the MVP. She has brought her team along with her teammates to the finals against Petrogas and actually won game one. So kudos to Eliza. <laughs> yes. Statistically speaking, looking yes. at the performance, statistical points-wise, talagang pasok si Eliza as an MVP. It really fits all your characteristics. You have service, you have defense, Mm -hmm. you have, you have um, scoring. Um, but aside from Eliza, syempre, you would want to put forward a few other names. Yes. Gio Morado is also a good yes. candidate for MVP if we think about it in this conference given how she really carries Screamline to where they are right now. Aside from that offense of Eliza, it's really Gia's playmaking that carries Screamline all throughout. And aside from Gia, I would also want to put forward the name of Nicole Chamzon Nicole for Chamzon, the yes. performance. scoring yep. greatly for Banco Perlas. And the performance that she has shown in this conference has been spectacular. I mean, we did not know this Nicole Chamzon before this conference, and it's re a really good sign for Banco. Yeah, Cha, what can you say about the growth of Nicole Chamzon from last season to this one? She is actually my choice for breakthrough player oh, okay. of the conference because I think um, when she was made captain of Banco for last this year, she really matured and mm -hmm. she was able to take on the role. And her maturity gave um, so much growth 
for her performance as well. She's now very vocal. She's very aggressive, not only in attacks, but yeah. really talking to her teammates, especially when Banco Perlas is down. She speaks to them, and um, she helps a lot in making sure that everything is steady, consistent, and she helps the team a lot, not only in her attack. She is yeah. number one in scoring above Eliza Valdez. She had 130 points in the elimination round, but it's really having her presence there yes. in Banco that makes the team very steady. Do you agree with that, Sinj? Like, how has Nicole Chamson impacted the Banco Perla Spikers When you talk about leader? Nicole Chamson now, it's about responsibility and taking charge. And that's the new Nicole Chamson that we know. Um, she's now the go-to player. Pupuntahan at pupuntahan siya ni Jem kahit anong mangyari. At pupunto siya sa kahit anong paraan mm -hmm. na kailangan. And that's what you want to see with Banco having yeah. a lot of veterans na may future, may growth itong yeah. Banco Perla after um, Su Rosas, after Z Hervasio. Kasi tumatanda na din si yeah. Su at si Z. And that's what you want to see with this Banco squad. Na may growth naman at may... Yeah. New people stepping oh, may, up. May yeah. papasok din naman palang new breed of Perla Spikers for them. So nasabi na nga ni Chan na si Tiami ang kanyang breakthrough player. But who is your breakthrough player? Well, Chanzon is really on top of the list, really. For this conference, mm -hmm. no question. Breakthrough, if you're talking about a breakthrough performance, it was Nicole Chanzon. But aside from Chanzon, I would also put um, Janelle Cheng's name yes. forward because she has done an impeccable job in the setting, very steady. She wasn't a starter last year, mm -hmm. but the performance that she's giving right now, she's going at head-to-head uh, -head against Gio Morado. So that's a really difficult job to be in, especially in the finals, knowing how good Gia is. But there's nakakasabay talaga tong si Janelle Cheng, and that's what you want to see when you have a setter. And I know we have another one, Tobino, who yes. I think a lot of people expected na Jovi Gonzaga coming back, but it was Tobino who also shone so bright for the Pacific Town Army Lady Troopers. Yes, aside from their import playing, it was really Royce Tubino mm -hmm. actually helping a lot in terms of attack. She's doing a lot of damage when it comes to offense. And I think that's um, a lot of help for the Army Lady Troopers as well. So we have so much things to look forward to for this finals. And talagang, it's an exciting matchup that we have here. But we're just taking a breather. We will still be joined by Sinjin and Charo to discuss the key points for Game 2 of the PBL Reinforced Conference Finals. Don't go away.